if you really believe that you've got something that you can do that's yours and yours alone, commit to it. You know, give yourself a year and say, I'm gonna save up money, I'm gonna, you know, start it. You know, don't feel like you have to just quit one day because the motivation to make that happen comes from mentally committing to it. And it, it's, I think you can get through that year if you like know in the back of your head, I'm going for something, I'm doing a little bit each day to get there. That's the only tool I've ever had is knowing that you're, you're doing something bigger than yourself is the only thing that's kept us going, you know, through, through the toughest times. Ronin Guitars is a custom handmade electric guitar company based out of Humboldt County, California, using reclaimed old growth redwood as its proprietary wood. Ronin started when my father and I took a chainsaw to an old growth stump on our property on a whim and cut out a chunk of old growth redwood and we decided to make an electric guitar out of it just for fun. My father had been building acoustic guitars as a hobby for years. I was living in New York at the time, playing bass, doing music, and I'd always been around guitar making. It wasn't my profession, I wasn't an expert at it, but we knew how to do it. And we built this little prototype out of Redwood, and I took it back to New York City, where ironically, about a week later is where I met Izzy, my business partner, just by happenstance. Izzy was repairing guitars at the time, and I showed him this little Redwood prototype, and I said, we've got a bunch of this wood back in California. My dad's been collecting it for years. And he took one look at it and he thought it was the goofiest looking little guitar he'd ever seen. But it sounded incredible. And he said, nobody makes guitars out of old growth redwood. What even, he didn't even know what it was. So we flew him out to California and we built 12 guitars. And we decided to sort of team up and say, hey, let's let's do something. We couldn't afford to rent a business commercial lease in New York, so we're like, let's just do it in the apartment and we'll just move the bedroom and redesign it into a repair shop. And we slept on the floor on blow-up mattresses. Uh, we were there for about five or six years with the guitar shop. And one room was repair shop and the other bedroom was sort of the guitar room and showroom, hang room. A lot of these amazing musicians would come into the shop and see these guitars on the wall and go, what is this? I've never heard of this. And I think when we realized that, you know, they had all gone in a matter of like a month, like we might have something here. Izzy and I were working in New York six to seven years before we permanently moved out to Humboldt, California. The biggest reason was you know, sales were good, the demand was up, and it was kind of one of those tipping points where you had to take a risk and say, Haley, you want to go for this. You're, you wake up every morning on an air mattress, you know, covered in fret wire and oh. sandpaper, and you're just like, I think I'm kind of done living on an air mattress. And so we're like, if we're going to do this, we just need to do it. We just couldn't stomach not making the guitars. So we just sacrificed the repair side of things and, and the New York lifestyle side of things. At first, what scared me the most was someone was going to maybe start copying what we were doing. So when, when I was younger, I was a little intimidated and scared about like, okay, well, how do we fit into this puzzle? How do we fit amongst our peers? Because we're doing something that's not what everybody else is doing. And then you sort of realize, well, there's a lot of people doing a lot of really innovative things, you know? And I think if you can embrace that and accept it and try to make a community out of it, that fear dissipates really quickly. You know, when, you, when you're confident in what you're doing, that's all that you really need. The instruments speak for themselves. I think the normal workplace offers some security, and if you get used to that paycheck every day, if your whole identity is surrounded by that workforce pyramid system, I can imagine that it's really tough to let go. For me and our business, sometimes you wish you had that. You know, when you're on the other side of the spectrum, you're like, what are we doing with our lives? We're bums, you know? Everybody else has jobs and has paychecks and works for a big company. So it's a mirror image of each other, but on both sides of the extremes, I think there's the same amount of fear and questioning that goes on. It's just a different story. 
Over the years, we've settled into more consistent roles. We're probably up to about 450 to 500 guitars at this point. The freedom to be creative on a day-to-day -day basis uh, is probably the most rewarding part of it. The irony is that comes with a whole lot of other challenges uh, about getting into self-motivation and making sure that you're wearing the 50 hats you have to wear when you have a tiny business. I get the most joy, I have to say, about designing a new guitar. I love sitting down there and drawing the guitar out on a huge sheet of paper, basically making a perfect to scale drawing of the instrument. You know, Izzy and I will sit down and talk about colors. We'll talk about, you know, what can we do to, to keep some tradition in this instrument and also innovate it into something that's, that's fresh and cool. And where like pure joy comes from is definitely from sitting down and like, okay, let's do something new. Let's break some molds. Let's see where we can innovate. Part of me feels like success is if you wake up every morning happy and healthy, there's no reason to ever need anything else. The other half of me goes, uh-uh, success means money, it means influence, it means power, it means respect, it means a sense of accomplishment. And I struggle with that every day, is blending those two sides of me together. I think, you know, that without, without that second part, you can lose drive, you can lose focus, you can lose, you know, the strength to sort of continue to innovate, continue to look for that next edge. I think it comes into sort of how, how we deal with society and how we see ourselves in society when, when things like money and success and power, are, it's what we're told we're all supposed to be here for. And I think a lot of people are sort of waking up and realizing that maybe that's not everything. It certainly, you know, unless you want to go live in the woods like a hermit, it certainly has to be part of it. But I think there can be a, a balance between, you know, what makes your soul happy and what makes your wallet happy. My name is John Reed, owner and builder at Ronin Guitars here in Humboldt County, California, along with Izzy Lugo and Jack Reed.